action, here we go. Background, more exciting, exciting. David Hayes been shooting the pre-fight promo for his clash with Tyson Fury. He's had to do a few takes and deliver a few lines. Not that that's ever been much of a problem. I put ordinary fighters on their backside just like you. And while Fury's been in camp in Belgium, Hayes says his own preparations show just how seriously he's treating this fight too. Didn't, didn't become you know, a two-weight world champion by not taking training camp seriously. You know, he's, he feels he needs to go abroad to do it. Fair enough, everyone's got their what, whatever it takes for him to get into the best shape. You know, this is his first big training camp. You know, I've had training camps for the last 10 years. Hayes' base is a gym and a railway arch at Vauxhall in South London. The trains rumble overhead and he's getting ready to rumble again too. You know, you get up, you come down to the gym, you do, you do, you do your graft, you obviously have your breakfast beforehand, you know, you might do a, a versa climber session or a technical session or a spot. Like today we did a spine session, um, did about 15 rounds, um, you know, hard, a hard pace. We got out, did some body pads, um, hitting the bags, you know, it's just working to exhaustion pretty much. At six feet nine, Fury's not that much shorter than Nikolai Valuev, the giant Russian that Hay beat four years ago and it's meant some big men have been brought in for sparring. We've got um, Deontay Wilder, I think he's six foot seven, I think he's uh, 28, 29 fights, 29 knockouts. Um, we've got Marius Vak, I think he's the same size, six, eight, six, nine. Um, he's only ever lost to Vladimir on points. We've got Richard Towers, he's I think six foot seven, you know, six foot eight, he's a switch hitter from the Brendan Ingalls camp. David's looking sharp as a razor, you know, already, but we know there's, there's more to come. When I leave, I'm like, I know, I gave it my all, I gave it everything. I, I, I was scheduled to come this time, I'm leaving this time, then leave that back, made the best man win. And Hay reckons he's in the mood to humiliate Fury. I believe so, you know, he's, he's made such big, bold claims. You know, he, he genuinely said with a straight face that he's the greatest boxer that's ever lived and that will ever live. Anybody who believes that, you know, particularly who's never actually fought anybody who got knocked down in his last couple of fights, you know, either deluded or they've actually got a screw loose. And tracking and action and jacking. Look out for their big fight promo. Hey Fury is looming fast. Jeremy Langdon, Sky Sports.